Hi, my name is Russell Soder. I am the Quality Assurance Manager from Graz Industries and Graz Pilates. I'd like to go over the Wonder Chair with you really quickly. Um, every now and then you're going to hear a sort of groaning sound coming through. Now this is a general maintenance tip that is going to help you out with this. If we come down here, we're going to find a hinge that connects the pedal to the actual body of the chair. And what we're going to do here is, if you look inside, we're going to see little splits in between the hinges. Now what I want to do is I want to get some lubrication into each and every one of those. So what I do is, I'm going to start to the left. I just shifted this over so that one set of holes is going to be wider than the other. And when I do that, I'm going to take some oil and I'm going to go to the larger hole right here and drop one drop in here, one in here. So it's every other hole here and here. And what that's doing is it's going in and touching the actual pin that sets inside. And then I'm going to switch it back, slide it back over to the left side. And now I'm going to drop some oil in that one. Once I've done that, I'm going to wipe off any excess. And then we're going to work it out a little. And now you should have a nice, quiet hinge. Now we're going to turn the unit around and talk about the eye bolts in the back. Now there are three eye bolts on either side of the Wonder Chair. Now there are three eye bolts on either side of the Wonder Chair. There's a top, a middle, and a bottom. Now the top and the middle should both be set for 35 degrees. What that means is just slightly less than 45. And why we do this is so that you have better access to the springs when you need. If this eye bolt is straight across, you're not going to be able to get it on as well. Now, the bottom one, contrary to the top two, is at 180 degrees, straight across. So when you're ready to put it to the bottom, it fits in nice and easy. Now, the reason for this is when they're fully extended, you're drawing a straight line to the opposite eye bolt. And every now and then, you're going to want to tighten these up. When you tighten it up, you want to take a half inch on the outside, and you can use whatever you want on the inside because you have an eye bolt. If you just put this through the bolt, hold on to it, and then give it a tighten. And then make sure to check that you're at 35 degrees, and we're good to go. Now we also have eye bolts down on the front of the pedal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to unload our springs and drop the pedal down. We always want these eye bolts to be north and south if you're sitting on the unit, never east to west. And you're going to find sometimes that they'll spin. Now these eye bolts actually go through T-nuts on the inside. You can't get access to them on the back. So the way that we tighten them is just by taking either a wrench or a screwdriver very carefully so you don't rip the upholstery around it and turn clockwise. You don't need to over tighten. Just give it enough so that it stays in place and you can't move it with your fingers. Uh, now we're going to go over how to tighten your hinge. With the Wonder Chair, every now and then you're going to get a little movement side to side. And when you look down here at your hinge, you're going to notice the wood is actually separating from the hinge itself. That's when it's time to tighten your hinge. And for that, we're going to use an offset wrench.
And remember, there are a total of 10 Allen bolts going through into T-nuts on the other side. Just make sure that they're all tight. Thanks so much for watching this maintenance tutorial on the Wonder Chair. Please check out our other tutorials. Take care.